Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in to Skern Station. In this video we will go through two recommended builds for priests in WoW Classic. First we start with the all round healing build that you should use if you want to heal in PvE content. Then we continue with the PvP healer build and in the end we will have a look at the healing rotation and spells for single target and raid healing. Before we start, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want more Warcraft guides and videos. Without further ado, let's start with the PvE Holy Priest build. Here we'll be investing 30 points into Holy and 21 into Discipline. Priests are excellent healers in WoW Classic and with this recommended build we will be an all-purpose healing machine. This build ensures that you will have the most important healing boosts such as spiritual healing, spiritual guidance and holy specialization while also investing points into improved healing, meditation and mental agility to enhance the mana efficiency. All in all, this is your go-to build if you want to heal as a priest in PvE content. Feel free to share with us your opinion and build variation in the comments. Now let's continue with the PvP Discipline build. If you are more interested in the PvP but still want to play a healer, I recommend that you invest 33 points into Discipline and only 18 into the Holy skill tree. With this build you won't be able to heal as much as a Holy Priest, but you will have the cooldown power infusion to buff the damage or healing abilities of either other DPS casters or yourself by 20%. It also boosts your PvP survivability by picking Unbreakable Will that increases by 15% your chance to resist stuns, fear and silence effects. Also healing focus is very important for PvP because it will increase by 70% the chance to avoid interruption caused by damage while casting any healing spell. This build could also be used for PvE but it is only recommended if your raid has already enough healing output and you want to boost the raid damage further with power infusion on the main DPS caster. Now that we know survival builds, let's continue with the single target healing rotation and spells that you should use. Use heal as your primary mana efficient heal for long fights. Remember to keep renew the max rank up on your most important targets that are taking consistent damage, such as tanks or stupid melee DPS that keep getting hit. Use powerful shields on tanks. This will mitigate some of the incoming damage. Greater heal should be used if you have enough time to cast and a target took heavy damage. This is your heavy heal. If you need to heal your target fast, use flash heal. Use it only in life or death situations because this spell will drain your mana a lot. Remember to be as mana efficient as possible. Overhealing is bad. The use of different spell ranks is key. I would recommend to pick Flash Heal rank 4 and 7 and Greater Heal rank 3 and 5 in your skill bar for a start. If you want to go more technical and in detail, look up some healing and down ranking calculators to optimize your character further. Last but not least, let's talk about raid healing. Priests are awesome AoE healers and your main spell is Prayer of Healing. Use this for consistent AoE healing when your raid party is taking moderate damage. Remember to keep Renew on your most important targets. Consider putting in attacks and AoE mages that will be taking consistent damage. You can use Power World Shield and Flash Heal in emergencies when required. Remember, flash heal is not very mana efficient. As a raid healer, you will need lots of mana, so remember to bring consumables such as major mana potion or demonic rune or a dark rune. So people, that's it. Hope it helped. Like, subscribe and buff your allies. See you on a Twitch stream.